What's going on guys? Welcome to another one of Black Iron's Battles. Today we've got a new and improved Black Iron's Battles. We've got a new non-mechanical keyboard. We've got better sound quality. We've got uh, the Empire. And we've got a shorter video time for these live battles. I'm going to stop uh, picking my armies while you wait. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've already got selected and who we're facing off against. So you see we've got Patrons is our opponent. He's got the Skaven and I'm using the Empire. We've, we are uh, on a, the excavation site, which doesn't really have much for us. We've got an Arch Lector, which is something a little different I typically wouldn't bring. We've got the three Thor Swordsmen, three Flagellants, two Halberdiers, Sigmar Sons, Sterling's Revenge, Silver Bullets for the stock. Uh, we've got those two groups of Empire Knights and two Great Cannons. So we'll go ahead and get this battle started. The one thing you'll notice is I did go ahead and... Uh, I have got this arch lector and I've got him on foot because I I did not want to bring a large lord. I've been uh, getting a lot uh, getting a lot of uh, sniped out uh, by Skaven groups and uh, knocked around a bit. So um, I was thinking this time maybe we'll see him, see what happens if we bring a lord on foot. He'll be pretty hard to kill and uh, he'll constantly be buffing all of these troops around him. So we've got a, those ton of flagellants to keep them from breaking. The swordsman will cut down uh, slaves and a lot of the the rat units. Got a couple, couple of groups of halberds, which are to be used for doom wheels or rat ogres or anything big, and that, that takes a takes a you know a halberd to take down the anti large unit um, with some armor piercing. So we've also got those uh, those stock units. Um, so those are uh, the both of those regiment renowned uh, gunners or have stocks, so they're a little bit. It takes a lot longer for the opponent to see them. Uh, it gives you a little bit of an edge there on strategic planning in the beginning. Those two cannons, hopefully, should be enough to overpower a um, the the Skaven artillery. Uh, if we get lucky, unlucky, and he's uh, outgunned us on warp cannons, we'll be in trouble. But um, we're just going to hope those two cannons are enough to kind of take out the uh, the Skaven artillery there. Overall, um, you know, it's always always a little bit of a toss up. Um, but, you know, with those two Empire Knights, we should be able to, um, you know, hopefully have a little bit of mobility. We'll have some cavalry. Um, maybe we can get into the back and take out some of those. Uh, so we're gonna mix, mix these uh, flagellants right in here. And what that'll do is that'll uh, give the flagellants a little bit of more protection because uh, those swordsmen do have shields and, and uh, just a little bit of armor. I mean, a lot more than the flagellants have, that's for sure. So we'll put our halberds over on the flanks, just like we always do. And this time we're going to put them a little bit, uh, actually, we're going to put them a little more in the center. Um, because we are going to have those two cannons. So we're going to have one group of halberds by each cannon. Go ahead and get that set out. And we're going to put our Lord of uh, our, our uh, Light Mage there in the middle. Got our, our two groups of uh, hand gunners over here. We'll go ahead and keep them kind of here on the side. Keep these uh, Empire Knights here. Keep them a little bit in the forest. I don't know. I don't know that they have the hide ability. Uh, but either way, and we'll go ahead and put our arch collector right up here in the front. Now you see he does have 95 armor, which isn't a lot, but he does have quite a, quite a good number of buffs. So that should be able to help us out. Um, but either way, that's not the case. Our damage is going to be done by ranged units in those halberds. We're going to live or die by our, our rear flanks here. Let's go ahead and put Sigmar Sons there, the personal guard of the arch collector. Um, make sure we get that all selected correctly. There we go. And let's lock them up. We'll go ahead and uh, keep these guys. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to keep him. Go ahead and put those halberds on one. We're going to go ahead and put those on one and put them on one. All right. That should give us a little bit better of a challenge. Um, and right off the bat, it looks like he does have... All right. Let's go ahead and get our great cannon shooting immediately with that warp lightning cannon. We're going to get our guys moving up. Um, everyone's moving up at this point. We'll go ahead and make sure the, uh, the Empire Knights are kind of... Coming in here to take out these gutter runners. Um, I'm gonna see else. I don't see anything else at this point, and we'll see if we get lucky. I mean, we're gonna start taking some shots. Um, if we, oh, it's a, not a bad shot, but um, if we can hit that warp lightning cannon, that'll that'll be uh, that'll be good good money for us. I'll be happy about that. So at this point, let's go ahead and uh, get our net of Amontok ready. Hopefully, our our Empire Knights are gonna get moving. We'll just keep keep rolling. Um, it's pretty soon. All right, they're going. All right, and boom. So we're gonna drop that net, and that's that. Go ahead and engage here. We'll get one group on each of these, and that should be pretty good. All right, here in our main engagement, we'll just keep keep fighting, and we're gonna have to pull our mage back. 
I don't know how he got so far up front. I guess maybe because he was on the horse, he was able to, uh, and also besides that, we're going to go ahead and just start buffing. At this point, we want to do major damage, so um, let's go ahead and get our, I don't know what's going on here, um, but we'll go ahead and pull our gunners back. We're going to go ahead and have them start shooting at that Poison Wing Globadiers, and it uh, looks like we have routed off, so we're okay. Our, uh, let's see, where's our Sterling's Revenge Free Companies over here? And we're doing all right. We're going to have them start taking some shots. Let's see, over here on the left, we'll get everyone on top of here. Make sure these Empire Knights keep fighting. And uh, I think we're doing okay so far. In the back, our cannons are seem pretty safe. I don't see anything crazy coming, so we're going to go ahead and let's keep moving in. And let's go ahead and have all of our cannons start facing this Warlord. So that Warlord on top of that Rat Ogre, he's actually really big. So um, that'll help us out a little bit, too go ahead and get everyone moving make sure everyone's still fighting and uh, at this point I think we're doing okay all right there's gonna be some big hits coming out uh, but that's all right well, not too bad let's go ahead and use our power stone and see if we can't get a ba banishment going for this big group right here um, let's go ahead and make sure everyone's doing okay let's go ahead and uh, let's put these guys on skirmish mode let's go ahead and make sure everyone's still fighting and we really want um, there we go. Let's go ahead and 22% damage resistance. And let's go ahead and do soul fire too. Um, so we're going to do some pretty good damage. Boom. There we go. And one more point and we should be able to use our banishment, which will be another strong ability to use right in this group right here. All right. There we go. And that's going to be some trouble. So we're going to go ahead and move back. Go ahead and get our, our last units in here. We'll go ahead and get our empire knights fighting in there too. Um, at this point, it looks like, I mean, that's pretty much, uh, let's see if we can't get our Empire Knights in here and take out those Poison Wind Globe Deers at this point. Okay, so our Banishment probably did a good amount of damage to them. I think we're pretty much, pretty in a good, pretty good position at this point, and we, now we've got our Fresh Halberders coming in here. We're going to have them start targeting those Rat Ogres, and we're going to have our Empire Knights get in here and finally take out those Poison Wind Globe Deers. All right, this group of Empire Knights should be able to take out this group of Gutto Runners. And, uh, oh, jeez, man. Come on, get in there, charge in there. And we're doing okay. Our Empire Knights in the back are taking out those Poison Wind Globadiers. We do have our Sterling's Revenge here. And let's go ahead and make sure our Great Cannons are shooting at something important. Let's have them just shoot over here. Let's go ahead and keep everyone fighting. And uh, I think that's that. We're going to go ahead and uh, make sure everyone's still engaged here. We do have our Light Wizard. Let's go ahead and get our Light Wizard. Oh, let's go ahead and make sure they target this Warlord here. Um, because it looks like he did just go ahead and take me out. So we'll go ahead and make sure everyone's targeting that Warlord. Um, we're, oh, move! Oh, I don't know. Maybe I dodged in time. Um, but, oh, okay. We're going. We're going. These, uh, let's see. These units over here. Get them coming in at the Plague Monks. All right. Our silver bullets are in the back here, and it looks like they're finally starting to take some good damage. We do have these swordsmen here. Let's go ahead and just get, make sure everyone's still firing, everyone's still fighting, and get everyone back into the middle here. This warlock engineer is down pretty heavily, and it looks like, I mean, these empire knights have taken some pretty good damage too, but people are really starting to shatter for this game. And I don't know if that's it, but, I mean, these great cannons are still here in the back, still doing major, major work. All right, let's go ahead and, oh man. I think that's it. So I think we won it. Um, that's the Empire. I mean, I don't know why I need to save it since I recorded it. But let's go ahead and take a look at that post-game wrap-up. All right, this was a close one. It was a lot of fun. Um, and that guy brought a lot different of an army than I was expecting. So you see here, he pretty much had all Plague Monks and Storm Vermin and a lot of Rat Ogres. So big, heavy units. Um, really important was that we were able to use our Great Cannon to kind of take out that Warp Lightning Cannon. Um, if he had had a Doom Wheel or something like that, maybe something... Uh, a little bit more mobile to get in the back with the try to get around to those great cannons a doom wheel would have really um been pretty hard for me to deal with uh but you see you did see i left those halberdiers back there or halberdiers to, to deal with that but you know it's, it always really depends on what the enemy is able to do um besides that those rat ogres you see we're able to get 50 kills a piece but we were able to deal with them. I'm um, not as easily as I'd liked. I mean, I, they really actually were one of the things that was harder for me to deal with. I really like that pick, but um, the storm vermin with halberds is, is really going to, I think it really didn't work out too well for him. Some of these uh, plague monks, I mean, the, the real thing about this Skaven army is if he had had a couple of uh, Skaven slave slingers, um, just if he had not taken that warlord on the rat ogre, I just have such a hard time making that work. Um, 
you know, overall, it, it was a pretty good build. But, um, you know, if he had changed up his Lord, maybe maybe brought a little bit more meat to fill this out. It wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to kill his important unit so easily. You saw we were able to use our net of Ammon talk to catch those slingers. Um, we were able to take those out pretty early. These Empire Knights did a lot of good work for me. So did the cannons. Um, I did not use my ranged units to the best of their ability. I think, I think I was just having a hard time getting everything together, and I didn't realize how I had uh, how I had locked everyone up in the beginning. There, I kind of kind of did it a little different, not as good as I'd used to. But my banishment did get some kills for that light wizard. And overall, I think you know the game was pretty close. It came down kind of to the wire. He was able to keep that warlord alive, bring him back, um, and the the. The plague monks were able just to kill. I mean, they killed flagellants, they killed swordsmen. Those plague monks just got in there and did good work. So overall, it's a great great game to my opponent patrons. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this upgraded uh, keyboard version of Black Iron Battles. More great content coming soon. Take it easy, guys.